All right, calling all Stranger fans out there. Today, we're going to show you how to make this cake. So first, we're going to start by frosting our chocolate cake. For this, I used a chocolate cake with a vanilla buttercream. So we want to make sure that we get a nice and smooth crumb coat as we're going along, making sure our layers are even as we go across too. So I start by getting it piped on, and then I use my bench scraper to go through and make sure my sides are perfectly straight, um, leveling it against my cake board that I have on here. So going through a few times, making sure you take your time, I'll go through and smooth out the top of the sides of my cake as well too. Usually I do this process a couple of times back and forth. Once it's been chilled in the fridge, I'll come back and add my final layer of vanilla buttercream. Again, going nice and smooth, making sure that I get this really nice and even across. So smoothing it through as I go. Again, you want to make sure that you take your time, get it nice and smooth, going back across a few times and getting out any air bubbles that could have come up through it. So any of the spots that I notice I missed or we're still just having a gap of frosting, I'll go back through with my piping bag especially at the tops of the cake to make sure that I'm able to get a really nice, smooth, even layer. So again, going through, making sure that you're doing really long, smooth strides. That way you don't get any bumps as you're going across. Smooth through the cake. Try to get that as nice and flat as you can. You'll notice some of the frosting comes across on the sides. That's totally okay. We're going to do this process again of smoothing out our sides, pushing that buttercream up to make sure that we get a really nice and even edge on that cake. Then I'm going across with my scraper and just pulling those sides in and getting a nice crisp edge as I go across. So now it's time for me to add my light string. So just taking some black vanilla buttercream uh, that I've dyed and going through nice and smooth. I know I want to get it really close to the top since I'm going to have to do two levels of this. Um, and it's fine if it's not a perfectly straight line. That's kind of part of the look here. So you'll notice that I'm kind of going up and down as I go across. So use this technique from Chell Sweets. Uh, using the spoon to scrape out part of the cake. That makes it so that you're Lights, what I will use are peanut M&Ms, sit really smooth in there and you don't have frosting that pushes up against the sides of them. So I went through and made sure that I counted evenly, so I'd have half on top and half on bottom for my alphabet here. And started going through and piping out the letters as I went across for it. And again, part of the look here is that it is a little bit messy, so I was okay if some of my letters didn't look absolutely perfect. All goes back into that Stranger Things vibe um, with his mom putting the Christmas lights on the wall for it. So repeating the process again for the second time here. Again, going through nice and slowly, you want to make sure that you still get a nice even line as we're going across. And then again, scraping back with my spoon. Just a small little indent will do the trick for it. You don't need too big. And I found that the peanut M&Ms definitely worked the best. There are some that may be a little misshapen, uh, but overall the structure and size of them worked great. So going back and piping the rest of my alphabet letters. And here adding the top so going through and I always want to make sure that I get them evenly spaced um, especially for the pictures that I have on there so getting the four kind of corners as I wanted and then filling in the rest as we went through for this then I wanted to add some uh, egos 
as you know, big thing for 11. So I went and toasted them. I actually don't have a toaster, so I threw them into my oven, which was great. So if you like that content, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for following.